Yo guys and welcome back to this new video here on the channel. On today's video I will be discussing my main reasons why I do think Bitcoin is right now bottoming out here on the 30k. So if you're a Bitcoin holder I should highly suggest watching this video till the end here. And of course if you haven't already and you like this kind of content make sure to like the video here and of course subscribe to the channel for more of these videos. And with this having been said here guys let me go right away into the video. So guys let me start off to look at the BLX chart here, of course, on the logarithmic growth curve on Bitcoin. So what have we been seeing? And are there some very important indicators what we maybe have been looking, um, what we have not been looking at yet, but what we should be looking at to determine where we are right now seeing a bottom or a top getting called. So um, to look first, to, to of course make this opinion a valid one, I first want to be looking at 2013 and 2017 what happens. So I use the Fibonacci tool here and I will be only using the 1.618 uh, extension level to determine some levels of resistance and support for the next run up in the next uh, bull run. So um, yeah, what I used here, as I set up this uh, Fibonacci here from the, uh, the 2011 low here towards the high of 2013, so the bull market of 2013 top here, and you can see uh, I set up this Fibonacci, and if you look further, and of course I enabled as well the um, extension level of the uh, 1.618, as you can see over here, uh, I enabled this extension level to 1.618, and um, what you can see, what is very, very interesting, guys, if you look for the, to the extension level of the 1.618 here, of course, we topped out here in approximately December 2013, and we broke through it here on February 2017 but after that we really kick started to run up here and since breaking through of course the 1.618 guys we had this perfect retest of this level and i just can't stress enough about it that no one is talking about it but guys i will be going into the most excited part about it in a second but yeah you can see over here very interesting retest here of the 1.618, of course, really providing and really kick-starting the bull run towards, of course, the autumn high around the 1,900 US dollars of Bitcoin in 2017, 2018. So that was a quite exciting one, and this basically, the retest of the 1.618, kick-started all of it. So if we keep this in our mind and we look to the, this cycle we're right now in, so what we are going to do is once again set a Fibonacci 2 up over here. We used the Fibonacci. We used the Fibonacci. We used the, uh, the swing low here of 2015, the, the bear market of the previous run up, and we s select this Fibonacci from the swing low to the swing high to the bull market of 2017, 2018. You can see we set the exact same Fibonacci up here, and we once again use the 1.618 as extension level. We are right now having a perfect retest of this level, and you could have seen in the previous run up. This retest kickstarted the real bull run. And I've been saying several times that this market is just getting started. And this is once again a confirmation in the chart. This is an historical thing, what we have been seeing. Historical seeing, you can see over here. And this retest was extremely bullish. So yeah, right now, since of course first breaking through of this level, you can see we were already finding support on it. Right now, having the retest over here, this is of course a potential extreme, extreme good driver in the market. And this is also my main one of my main reasons why I do think we can be calling this the Bitcoin bottom because previous run-ups as well, we have not been training below this level because it is just such an important and such a significant level to trade on. So as well to find some support on. So yeah, personally, I do think the 30k will be the bottom. And the main reasons right now is that the prices are driving lower is pure of manipulation. And I definitely don't think that you should be falling for it. So, yeah, f I think it's extremely exciting. And as well, of course, um, we are looking to different models. And uh, to start about, about a different model, of course, is, of course, the plan B stock to flow model. Guys, we have been as well uh, giving the stock to flow model as well have been giving us right now an, a signal that we are undervalued in the stock to flow. Of course, if you're under overvalued like we were over here. It is not a smart time to buy. As well, in previous run-ups, you can see always once you're overvalued, it's not a smart time to buy. But always once you're sitting in these lower stages, um, once, of course, Bitcoin is oversold and, of course, undervalued, it's a good buying opportunity. And I've been saying it several times here on the channel that you rather want to be bullish on Bitcoin than bearish because if you are in bear right now, you're going to miss out on the extreme high returns of Bitcoin. So, yeah, you can clearly see over here, the FUD, of course, is extremely high as well with China. We know China have been banning not only crypto, guys. They have been not only banning crypto. They have been banning Google. They have been banning YouTube. They have been banning Netflix. They have been banning Reddit. And right now as well, Bitcoin and all these other coins and websites, etc., what I just called, are also successful. So 
China banning Bitcoin has nothing to do with the success story uh, of um, of Bitcoin in the future. And of course, because of the FUD is running in the market, these bulls are benefiting to push the prices lower. But I don't think that we will be seeing prices getting lower than the 30k here. Right now, the BLX chart is sitting on 32k here. But of course, the real time chart of Bitcoin is trading on uh, 33.9k here so this is of course quite exciting to see here uh, the blx chart is only lacking behind a little bit here um but to also clarify something up real quickly here as you can see um the uh, yeah the, the bitcoin daily chart guys uh, to talk about this one is also very interesting currently yeah we are for sure in a downtrend and we have been seeing several things uh, things here to uh, uh in the bitcoin chart first of all we have been seeing a very important downward slope resistance line on the RSI. This downward slope resistance line on the RSI has been, of course, the momentum killer of Bitcoin on the daily. So as soon as we're going to break through this resistance line of this RSI, guys, the momentum will be shifting to the upside and it will be a quite insane momentum run up here for Bitcoin. And we will be seeing a quite, a quite a lot of um, yeah, volatility towards the upside getting created here. But of course, in order to flip bullish on Bitcoin, the first signal that we have to be getting here is, of course, the breach through of this resistance line to the downside as long as we're not seeing the breach through of this level i can't be bullish on bitcoin so this is a thing that we should be looking out for all together um i mean we're right now seeing the potential bottom getting created on 30k and if we're not going to hold on to the 30k guys it's going to look pretty uh, pretty bad for bitcoin it's going to look like this cycle is even going to be different than the previous ones and we can be maybe yeah, act a little bit different, of course. But, I mean, you have to know, every cycle has a different characteristic and every cycle behaves itself differently. So, yeah, let's see how it will be uh, reacting, of course, to our chart. But I do think we want to not ignore this. And I do want to be saying this to you guys. And that is, as well, the reason why I made a dedicated video about it. So, yeah, as well for Bitcoin, you can see the downtrend getting created here on the RSI. But as well, if we're looking to the daily candles, guys, you can see that we just want to be seeing the breakthrough as well of the top side of resistance. Because... Yeah, we have been as well forming a resistance target and a support target on the lower side. So, yeah, for sure, we can be going to lower targets. Personally, I don't really see it happening anymore. Uh, personally, I do think the market sentiment will be swapping anytime soon here. Of course, still Friday, we're probably still going to see some more downward pressure coming in towards the market because, of course of the futures expiration and that can be still helping these uh, these bears to push prices lower they want to be seeing bitcoin trading below 32k this friday um is this drop off over here all the steam that they got or do they have more steam within uh, to push prices even lower i mean I'm very curious what they are going to do of course we really don't want to be seeing the bitcoin weekly chart closing below um the um the 31.8k here for sure 31.8k uh, weekly close below the 31.8k is an extreme extreme bearish uh, close here but as well generally speaking guys you can see over here um we have been topping out always on the top side of the logarithmic growth curve and um the bitcoin logarithmic growth curve have we been even close towards that level no we haven't and does this cycle of course i will be not saying that this cycle is right in 2013 uh, but does this cycle look very similar if we're talking about the logarithmic growth curve uh, compared to 2013 yes i do think so and you can see over here the first run-up we were not topped out here we were seeing a very significant correction and after that we rallied steadily but slowly up and of course a new euphoria run-up was getting started so guys place this is my last call this is your last chance i have been saying it several times a lot of people don't like me uh, to say this but this is your chance to of course um still buy these bitcoin cheap here because 30k is the bottom in my opinion and we will be not seeing much lower prices of course uh, and it is right now still giving you an opportunity to buy cheap here and make sure that you are that you are going to be the one who did not who is not going to regret because you have not been buying the dip here so i mean guys this was the last call that i'll be making for you guys maybe we have another week maybe we have another two or three weeks but it won't be long until we're going to see prices rising above the 50k once again here until the euphoria starts to running up once again in the market guys so thank you so much for watching to this video make sure to share this video with your friends if you agree with me that bitcoin is right now bottoming out on the 30k here guys let me know as well in the comment section what you right now think of it as well i do think it's very important to know this and guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave the like and of course if you want to be seeing more of me and if you want to be seeing more of these out zoom uh, more zoomed out videos here let me know in the comments comment section but it was of course a pleasure pleasure making this video for you guys once again here and thank you so much for watching and peace out goodbye